Okay, so this is a puff adder that Johan from Tigerberg Snake Removal um, picked up from someone's house. Unfortunately, it died for some reason on just after he picked it up. Uh, we think it might have eaten something that had eaten poison. But what we want to do is just show you what the fangs look like on a puff adder. Um, so Johan is going to neck it. Do not do this at home. You should only do this if you're trained and you know how. But he's going to neck it and then I'll show you what the fangs look like. This is very, very dangerous to do. Even though we know the snake is dead, we're still doing it carefully. We're not taking any chances with it. You do not want to be bitten by a puff adder. You can see here, a beautiful eye up there, and your hands are holding it, so I'm feeling safe to put my, my knife here. Uh, I just want to show you what the fangs look like. So the puff adder fangs are collapsible. They fold up into the mouth like that, and then when it's ready to bite, the fangs pop out and then it lunges at you and you can see it's in that sheath there we go that's what the fang looks like and even now with a snake dead you do not want to touch that because the venom can still come out the venom is like spit it's in there if you if you uh, press on it or if you squeeze it or if you prick your finger on that the venom is going to come out and you're you're going to be envenomated so they're needle sharp you do not want to touch them even when it's dead your hand's going to squeeze the venom gland just to show you the venom dripping out there you see that's a drop of puff adder venom. Highly cytotoxic. What happens when a puff adder bites you is the venom starts, uh, starts uh, killing flesh. Uh, so necrosis starts almost immediately. And when you get to the hospital and they give you antivenom, they can stop it from that point, but they can't, they can't reverse what's already happened. So it's not a snake to mess with. Great, we're, this is a dead one. So we're just gonna leave it out in the bush to be food for something else. And then we're done.